What's happening, my people? Switch boy, Chance Jollivet, aka Smooth, back with another video. So, man, I like to bump my guns, man. Pause. But I like to just, I like, to, I like to talk. I like to ramble on the, on my channel and stuff, man. And this is something I didn't do like weekly videos of or anything, but this is something I just want to put light on. Because this is just so dope. I just got to give it props on my platform or whatever. Winning time, the rise of the Lakers. This shit right here was incredible. Like, just the, the angles that they attacked it from. Visually stunning, man. Just the the backdrop of it, man. This, this everything that they had to go through. Like, Jerry Buss was such a visionary. And he was crazy. He spent everything he had to get the Lakers and stuff. And you see it was a different NBA. And like if you know, the NBA was almost bankrupt and stuff. And then whenever Bird and Magic came in the game, that's whenever things blew up. Then like Jordan took it to the next level and stuff. But Bird and Magic is the ones that turned things around. You see Kareem and you see what he was going through and how Magic revived his career and stuff, man. Like, he was on the way out. He didn't care anymore. You see Magic, the young gun, a uh, brash, cocky, like, doing his thing. Like, something that, that bothers me a little bit, it don't bother me. It don't make no no, sin, no no skin off my back. But... Like, uh, you watch the reports and stuff, and it's like, Magic, he's like, you need to watch the Magic documentary, because that's not how things were, and Jerry West and stuff, like, I can see Jerry West, maybe he has a gripe or whatever, but like, watching, the, I watched the Magic documentary, it was a four-part Apple thing, I watched that, I'm like, this shit show is like winning time, I think they did a good job. Because what they showed accurately in the Magic documentary, that shit was in winning time. That was dope. You, like they, I knew Magic and Kareem and them there, a lot of stuff I knew. Like, of the Spencer Haywood stuff, I ain't knew about that. Like, I wasn't privy to the Spencer Haywood uh, shit back in, I wasn't here in 1980. But Spencer Haywood, like, he was on crack and they kicked him off the team and this and that. Wood, Wood Harris, I think that's his name, but he been paid in full and stuff, he a legend in the game, but dog, the role he played, like in these last, the last few episodes and stuff, like playing like Spencer Hayward on drugs and wanting to kill the Lakers and like relapsing and stuff, yo, he did a sensational job, Jenny Buss, like seeing her as a young lady, and her uh, watching her father and stuff and becoming like the heir apparent like way back in those days. Like her brothers and stuff wasn't like in the business like she was and stuff. Like she was always the right hand man per se. And so now she is doing her thing and running the organization. She did bring a ring. She did bring a ring with the bubble and stuff. But it's kind of looking bad right now. But hey. But just seeing everything that Dr. Bus did and everything, yo, this this shit was dope. This shit was this shit was cold, man. How Magic took over in the finals and decided to play center and had this incredible game at forty something points and stuff in. How he used them giving like Larry Bird all the accolades and awards, how he used that to thrive him and keep him going, like as far as like at least he's a his fuel. That was dope. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of think of the parts. Like man, just the coach. The coach almost dying and stuff. And he actually did die. Like I don't know if he was necessarily in that season, but he died. Cause I Googled it and looked it up. I'm like, man, did this happen? This shit is crazy. You know what would be incredible? But well, well before I even get to that, the coach died. Jerry Buss's mother died. Like a lot of those things. They didn't show the death in uh in the series or whatever, but the, the death of the coach. But then the mother died. Like just man it 
It was a lot. And they they had to go through all of that fighting bankruptcy and fighting this and that. And he was almost about to, to give the ownership of the team to his ex-wife for him to avoid bankruptcy. And just his mother forgetting to file the paperwork. That's how Jerry, how Dr. Buss kept the team and stuff. That That's just the chance encounters and stuff, the things that happen is so incredible. And what would be incredible, yo dog, would be the 2020 rise of the Lakers is up. With Kobe dying, with LeBron and them going, going to the Lakers, with them getting AD, with the pandemic, them going into the bubble. Like, that would be an incredible season as well. Like, it's too soon, but dog, if they would have a drama of that, that would be dope. This can, this can pick up, and they could have another season of this. Like, I would watch it. But if this never comes back, if this is a one-off, hey, this show right here was incredible. If you have not watched this, even if you are not a Laker fan or something, if you're just a fan of basketball and a fan of history, and to see the things that they had to go through to get to that season in that championship, and the Lakers, they are one of the most winningest franchises of all time. Like, if you know, the Lakers were losers, like, perennial losers, man, because the Celtics would kick their ass every year. Jerry West made it to, like, eight championships in a row or something and lost all of them. He, lost, he won one championship. And he is the logo for the NBA. But he made it to so many championships and lost them. It's just my thoughts of the series, man, and I would definitely tell you to check this out, man. Like this is this is stupid dope. The actors and stuff, man, the, the people that look the parts and stuff, magic, the dude that did Kareem, the little bird character. I see a lot of people clowning about him online, but the bird character, he was pretty good. Like uh that yeah, that's Jay looking holy shit. But uh he was it, it was good though, man. Like I, I very much enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. This is one of the best, like original series in a long time. And as far as basketball wise, like they had like Above the Rim, the uh, Sunset Park, uh, Hoosiers and stuff like that. A lot of basketball stuff. This is one of the best ones. Might be the the best in my eyes. Uh this is up there. With what was the name of Michael George stuff? Uh, the, the the last dance or whatever. That was that was cool, man. This it might be better than the last dance, like because this was actually a dramatization and stuff, a show, not a documentary. This is dope. But that's my thoughts, man. Like, comment, subscribe, be aggressive, most hated, man. Holla at your boy.